really dislike the Varus Vein combo because there's no synergy there. There's no siege. Yeah, I mean, they kind of do separate things. I mean, sure, Varus's ultimate can help lock people up. And oh, man. Just look at the thing about there. this comp with the Zir instead. I'm <laughs> dying, Chobra. <laughs> well, we'll find out as we jump right into game number one. Ignar's not there. They so haven't been spotted. Ignar's pretty sure Aurora's now. dead. Walking up. Now, Ignar is coming down, though. He's making some headway. Tucson is really low, so he can't really help this. Roar just right there. There's a teleport coming in. Somebody decides, hey, we got to back out. Their teammates are coming in. This suddenly turned into a 4v3, and the bodies are out to two members. Condemn backwards to make sure they pick up one kill onto someday. Fixer has really to flash over TV. into nowhere. Another CC chain coming in, and LZIM pick up two kills to kick things off. Yeah. Warren Fixer are going to show up, though, alongside Arrow, and they haven't been seen. Roar all alone right now, and there's the Fates calling and the knock-up and the pulverize and the headbutt back. Hello, Roar, you have nowhere to go. And unfortunately, Score doesn't get the assist, but it doesn't matter because Kalista has now started the pain train. Now they're the only one who was confident enough to be able to go in, so they're just going to back out. Wow, I, another mistake from KT. He didn't follow that one up. Oh, Whoa, and the flash forward, and there's the cleanse, but Frozen still gets caught by score. Nagane caught a little bit more by the equalizer, though, as Arrow comes in. Face call with Fixer getting the knockup, but Tucson flashes out, and the kill is denied as Arrow just has to bounce back out with some back steps here. Score taking another piercing shot to the face, but the flame spitter not doing enough damage just yet. And I'm just going to start. Take that dragon, Nagne here on the side. He actually gets caught by the Destinus. There's the play. Yes, he uses Cleanse immediately to flash out, but Roar is hungry for the kill. There's an oh, Roar thought he dodged the petrifying gaze, but Nagne waiting one second. Meanwhile, KT someday getting burned down by that Flamesmitter. What happened here? You have to use the Glacial Prison to run away, and Arrow just simply cannot do anything. Oh, Frozen with the double kill on the Piercing Arrow using Fate's Call to help fix her escape, but he's not going to go any further as Roar gets the condemn, picks up the kill, retreats, and LZIM talking about the power spike. Here it is. A fixer still in that brush, and they're going to find Tucson. Tucson staying up quite a far away, and Score just arcing us all over the wall. He gets to slow down onto Tucson. Tucson has to use explosive cast, but here comes, oh, Fixer gets knocked by by the Condemn, and Roar and Frozen doing double duty damage onto Fixer, Unbreakable Wall, and then the Fates call, oh, the Equalizer lands, and there's the Chain of Corruption. Arrow taking so much damage, he goes down to a flash over the wall from Apple with the Flame Spitter on. Roar continuing to chase with the Summoner heal, trying to get the damage down onto Nogni, but there's the Glacial Prison. That's going to be the end of the chase for Roar. Apple still wants this kill, but Frozen can't get over the Miasma pool, and Apple not going to get the Harpoon over the wall. LZIM, they want these kills, but it's looking a little risky. Now, Nogni has been separated. One snipe, not going to happen. And there we go. Ignar just picks it up. Not going to take any risk where Nogni still does a yeah, lot of damage. That would be huge. Yeah, Arrow's already been working on it. Lots of basic attacks in there. And Tucson goes in with his whistle cask, and Varus is actually going to steal it. Frozen gets the fourth dragon for LZIM. And Apple gets the kill onto somebody. Well, I am just go for the Baron here. That rent left the Baron with like 30 HP. Oh, man. It was so incredibly close. Scored. Oh, wow. Look at that equalizer and the chain of crushing and the body slam. It's just a disaster for KT. They have to use Fates Call to escape. That's going to be the tier two in mid. And LZIM, the Baron would be nice, but they can keep pushing this. Has to be careful on how much they commit to this. Death sentence missing for now. Be back up in about seven seconds. Meanwhile, a flash body slam onto Arrow. They really want to keep that Calista locked down, but I think Tucson's taking a little bit more damage than he expected to. Roar, meanwhile, is now free to do damage. It flashes forward, gets not the kill onto Arrow just yet. Tucson chasing after it. There it is, the damage over time from the red buff. A double kill for Roar and four members down. Meanwhile, as Apple picked up a double kill on the bottom side of the screen, and that's going to be a 35-minute game in favor of LZIM. Well, a surprising upset in our first game of this series. Wow. I am looking a lot stronger than we had suspected previously. Can they hold it out through the rest of this best of three? KT needs to really shore up their early game, not play.